What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. So in today's video, I'm gonna address something that you guys can't exactly see with the Audi. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to detail the interior and I showed you, you could visually see a huge difference from before and after. But there's still one problem that I have with the interior and that is the smell that is generated from the inside from the fabrics. So even though I cleaned out the interior and I vacuumed everything, I cleaned out the headliners and I did a very thorough job at cleaning out most of the dirt that you can see, there's still an issue. And that's because the person that owned this car before me was a smoker. So what does that mean? That means that there's smoke that's embedded in basically all of the fibers inside the headliner and even areas that I can't necessarily get. Now, how do you address that? How do you make it so that the interior doesn't smell like anything anymore? To get that done, we're gonna be using this tool right here. And this is an ozone machine. Before you guys go ahead and buy one of these ozone machines and even use it, it's very important to know the precautions, how to use it, what it does, and everything else before you get started. So the way that ozone is produced is it's made two different ways. It's either made from UV light or corona discharge. Now because we're not gonna be working with light, we're gonna be using the electric method of the corona discharge. The way that it works is you plug in this ozone machine into a power source and it will create ozone. Now that ozone, which is O3, is three oxygen molecules together. Now, what it does is it actually breaks down any kind of odors, any kind of scents, any kind of smell that you have inside your car. So if someone threw up in your car, if someone was smoking in your car, or if you just have a very bad scent, you can actually remove all of it and completely sterilize it by using this kind of tool. So it's a shock treatment where you turn this on, the O3 goes around the car, and it attacks every kind of smell. So the O3 is a very unstable gas and it wants to neutralize itself and go back down to O2. So the way that it stabilizes itself is that extra O inside the O3 molecule is going to oxidize. And the way that it oxidizes is that when it reacts with something, it will completely deteriorate and break down that odor and then you're going to be left with clean O2 left. Now, even if you don't use all of the O3 inside your car, it does have a half-life. So let's say that you've got 100 molecules of O3 in the car. After the first hour, you're gonna be down to 50. After the second hour, you're gonna be down to half of that. And it's gonna keep going down until you're at breathable levels. So even if you do have a lot of it, you do put this inside your car, let's say for half an hour, and let's say it's a little overkill, you might have a little O3 smell to it, you will be able to drive the car after you let the car sit. It's not bad for the car, but you have to keep it away from the three P's. So people, pets, and plants. If you can keep it away from all three of those when you're using this procedure, you're gonna be in good hands. Now, if you do have to be exposed to it slightly, what I like doing is holding my breath and then just walking away from it or something like that. But if you also have to be exposed to it, you can buy a filter, which is basically a mask that goes over your face, one of those breathers with charcoal filters on the end of it. It's going to allow you to be exposed to the O3 without your lungs getting damaged. So any kind of soft tissue, it's not good. But if you keep those three P's away from the ozone, you're gonna be in good hands. So after we're done this procedure, we're gonna try and air out the car even after we only use this for a small amount of time. So you are going to have a weird smell in the car after the first little bit, but that's completely normal. After 48 hours and after letting the windows down, after letting the car air out, you're not gonna smell any odors, you're not gonna smell any kind of ozone, and it's gonna be a completely clean and odorless vehicle. Now, it's not going to go ahead and attack stains, but if, it, if that stain or if that dirt has a smell, the odor and that smell will be completely gone. So, I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. So step one, make sure that all of the windows are closed, make sure the sunroof is closed, and make sure that there's no way that the air on the inside can escape to the outside. Step two is placing this tool in a central part of the car. So I like placing it right over there on the armrest. That area will work. If you put it somewhere on the back seats, that will also work. But you just want it in an area that's basically central to everything. So I'm gonna be placing it there, and I'm gonna feed the power cable from the tool to outside through the back door. So I'm not going to go ahead and plug it in yet. What I'm first going to do is I'm gonna to go to the ozone machine and I'm gonna set this up so that this is going to run for half an hour. So for minutes, I'm gonna turn it to 30. And then as soon as I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and close all the doors and try to have it so that the extension cable or the power source is not inside the vehicle. So to get that done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this guy here in, but I'm not going to connect it up yet. So I'm not gonna have power to the unit until I have all the doors shut.
And then whenever you're ready, you're just gonna plug these two connectors in and then it's gonna be able to turn on the ozone machine and it's going to let it run. So what I'm gonna do is do exactly that. Now starting now, I'm gonna set a timer for half an hour and I'm gonna come back to this and turn the ozone machine off. Now you don't wanna have it so that it's gonna be on for too long. So I'm gonna do this right now. Timer, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna come back to the car and shut it off when the timer goes off. So if it's not a really bad interior, you could probably go ahead and turn this on for about 10 minutes. If it's quite bad, you can probably move up to 20. And if it's super bad and it smells like smoke inside the car, even after you go ahead and detail it, you can throw it in there for half an hour. But I wouldn't do any increment more than half an hour to get this operation done. After you've let the ozone machine do its thing for half an hour, you want to turn the power off even though that it does have a timer built in. So you want to disconnect the power and then you want to try and vent out all of that ozone as best as you can. So if you have your car inside a garage, open the doors, get a fan going, open up all the windows and try to get as much air movement inside the garage as possible. So you're going to want to let this sit for at least an hour before you go ahead and take it for a drive. Now, even after you take it for a drive, you might smell a little bit of a hint of the ozone, but if you crack the windows, you take it for a spin and you drive for a little bit, the smell should be almost completely gone. So should you go ahead and detail your interior, vacuum it, shampoo it, do as best as you can to clean it out that way, you still might have an odor on the inside of the car. Now only by using this ozone machine will you be able to fully remove those smells, all of those odors, and you're gonna be physically breaking down and killing all of that bacteria. If you guys wanna find a link to this ozone machine, you guys can find a link in the description box. Now the one that I purchased is the biggest and best one, and even still, it's not even that expensive. There are cheaper versions of this same model Model, but any of them will definitely get the job done and make the interior smell a lot better. So with the interior now fully taken care of, I can go ahead and continue to detail this thing and restore this Audi to its proper glory. Just because this thing is an 04 with 250,000 kilometers on it doesn't mean that it has to look that way. So with new parts and new everything on the vehicle, it's running great. But we've got to make it look the part. The interior is cleaned up. The interior doesn't smell at all. It doesn't have that smoke smell anymore. But we have to do the same kind of restoration to the outside. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, throw your questions down in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.